Extremely dangerous Hurricane Jose headed for the Leeward Islands as a Category 4 storm. I'm Mike Nasa with the latest on our Hurricane Jose approaching the same areas devastated by Irma just days ago. Now, there's the uh, view where you could see Jose looking very intense, a little stronger actually than uh, they thought when the Air Force flew in there this morning. 150 mile per hour winds, almost as strong as Irma. We're not going to focus on Irma. This updates exclusively for Jose, although obviously Irma is uh, very noticeable on this satellite imagery. Now here's the latest track as of uh, 11 a.m. on Hurricane Jose. I do have an update as of 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Hurricane Jose was at 16.4 north, 57.7 west and that's 380 miles east-southeast of the Leeward Islands. Maximum sustained winds still uh, 150 miles per hour with higher gusts into the 180 range. Moving west-northwest at 18, 940 millibars, so the pressure's still falling. This isn't too far from Category 5 intensity. You can see the National Hurricane Center predicts that it's going to move very close and near Barbuda, which is under a hurricane watch. These are all going to be changed to warnings, I'm sure, with the expectation of hurricane winds. St. Martin, St. Barthelemy, Barbuda, and Antigua, the same areas just ravaged by our Category 5 Irma the other day, are now in the line of fire from our Category 4 Jose just days later. This happens, it's rare, but it has happened before, and, uh, you know, it's just unfortunate when this stuff happens. Of course, as Jose pulls to the north, it's going to slow down. Whether or not it gets pushed out to sea, or if it gets caught in weak steering currents and loops around out here, we won't know until the middle part of next week. Regardless, in the short term, it's going to cause uh, concerns, high swells, gusty winds, and impacts to already devastated portions of the Caribbean Sea. And there's devastating Jose on the... Uh, satellite imagery and I call it devastating because it's devastatingly gorgeous for a hurricane you can see just a perfect eye on these water vapor loops when you have a well-defined central dense overcast with an embedded eye right in the middle there with that little white eye wall showing up there almost like somebody took a white pencil and circled in the middle of that green blob just a perfect circle uh, that's indicative of a very dangerous major hurricane. You can see Barbuda is right here, and that, of course, is uh, the area where the eye of Hurricane Irma directly crossed it. The hope is that Jose will gain enough latitude to miss the island, but you don't want it to get too close because then you'd be in hurricane force winds. Here's the radar out of Guadalupe. You can start to see the eye wall of Jose coming into view, and again, if this is Barbuda here, you can see the hurricane, we're hoping that it's going to remain just off to its north and east, but it's too close and too strong uh, to mess around with. So anybody in Barbuda, or if you have friends or family uh, in Barbuda trying to recover uh, after the devastation wrought by Hurricane uh, Irma, let them know that we have a hurricane almost as powerful, smaller, but almost as powerful, uh, that's going to get dangerously close. After it moves near the islands, say by Sunday and Monday, it's going to start to slow down and bend towards the east. But whether or not it continues all the way out to sea, or if it mills around here for a few days in weak steering currents, that remains to be seen. We'll watch it very carefully, obviously, as uh, the tropics continue to be active. But right now, if you are in Barbuda, Antigua, St. Martin, St. Barthelemy, you guys are under the hurricane watch that will likely be changed to a warning as uh, this wind field gets pretty close to the islands. Right now, Hurricane Jose, another extremely dangerous Category 4 hurricane. We'll have more on Jose later as we continue to watch the tropics. I'll see you guys next time.